This adventure continues our four-wheel drive in northwest Namibia. In this episode, Ben and I are going to continue to show you how to explore Namibia independently. Day 10 starts out from Sesfontein Lodge to Opuvu because there's no diesel here. It's an easy 123 kilometer drive to Opuvu on an actual gravel road, luxurious compared to the last few days of driving. Opuvu is a crossroad of local cultures. The only highlight on this stretch of road is the Swat Buis Drift Memorial, commemorating South Africans that went to Angola for a better life but were eventually kicked out in the late 1920s. Ben starts his daily search for a remote and free campsite. Our camp for the night. What's the name of the river? Oh, okay. Comes with a fresh gator swimming pool. End of day 10. Ooh, it's hot out here. Free push service. Curbside street vendors. Two, three. Bye bye. Bye bye. When we had to stop for a nature call, we discovered that there are no isolated spots along this stretch of river. Seven. Seven. That's very good. From the Konini Riverside Free Camp, we followed the new dirt road northwest to Pupa Village, where I insisted that we stay at an upscale $10 per person campsite. The riverside view of the world-famous Ekupa Falls was a good reason to stay. But more importantly, it was for the luxurious swimming pool. After an easy night, we exited luxury and started our drive south towards Okamwati village. We then left the dirt road and started on a difficult four-wheel drive track that would take us into the most remote parts of Namibia for over a week. Every time the locals saw us coming, they would run out to meet us. We were potential customers, entertainment, and charity. Very good. Bye-bye.